subpara B and C of paragraph 221 of the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2024, uh, the direction to the SBI to submit detail of bracket one, the electoral bonds purchased, semicolon, and bracket T2, uh, political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds, is specifically since the date of the interim order dated 12 April 2019. We'll stop. In other words, uh, all details which have been directed to be furnished in the operative directions of this court are with reference to the interim order, uh, are on the basis, uh, I don't say on the basis of, are with effect from the date of the interim order, namely 12 April 2019. We'll stop. The relief which has been sought in the MA for predating the, uh, dis the, the point of disclosure uh, would amount to a substantive modification of the judgment and hence cannot be dealt with in a miscellaneous application. To we'll stop the miscellaneous application is therefore not maintainable and is accordingly dismissed. I, mean, I want one more relief to prevent another round of contempt proceedings. Would your lordship just for a minute have my affidavit in compliance for What is it that you want to our classification? Yes. Marat, there was, when, when we gave your lordship, that's why I can see all this uh, story has started. When we gave your lordship the original figure of 22,217 bonds, we had, by mistake, that was from 1st of April, not on 12th of April. If your lordship just sees para 4 and not everything will be over because I know where this is going, where Mr. Bhushan is going. Please see para 4 of my compliance affidavit for one second. Yes. And, uh, and please, I, I would invite your lordship to say your lordships accept this. We have given the figures, Manal. There is no mismatch, there is nothing of the sort. The total, if your lordship sees the table. not go into all that. I mean, no, 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 no. I have to, I have to convince my lord I have complied with the order. I'm just saying. Compliance affidavit. It's a we compliance have. affidavit of your chairman and managing director. We just stay, we have accepted that. Uh, Please say your lordships have accepted our compliance affidavit. That will put an end to all this. Uh, by the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2024, comma, this court directed into inverted commas, directed, uh, this court, court directed into inverted commas, the disclosure of information on contributions received by political parties under the electoral bond scheme to give logical and complete effect into inverted commas complete to the ruling. Full stop. Thereafter, in paragraph 219, this court issued operative directions. Of these directions in subparagraph B and C are in two parts. I'll stop subpara B requires SBI to submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order dated 12 April 2019 into commas till date to the ECI into invert commas complete. Such details, comma, the court has indicated, in inverted comma, shall include the date of purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchased, in inverted commas complete. In the second part of the operative direction, in subpara C, comma, SBI was required to invert to submit into inverted commas the details of political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds into inverted commas complete till since the interim order date since the interim order dated 12 April 2019 till date to ECI. Full stop SBI was required to disclose details of each into invert underline each electoral bond in cash by political parties and to include which two and to include inclusive of the date of encashment and the denomination of the electoral bond. Full stop. The above narration and the plain reading of paragraph 219 of the judgment dated 15 February 2024 indicates that 
the that SBI was required to submit all details, both in terms of the purchase and in terms of the receipt of contributions. Full stop. The expression in, to invert commas, including include in both subparagraphs B and C uh, clearly demonstrate that the inclusive part was regarded as illustrative and not exhaustive of the nature of the disclosure which was to be made by SBI. Let's stop in, in other words, come up. We now, uh, there's no manner of doubt that SBI is required to make uh, a complete disclosure of all details in its possession. Full stop. This we clarify will include the this uh, we shall this we clarify would comprehend the alphanumeric alphanumeric uh, number of and the serial number, if any, of the bonds which were purchased and redeemed. Full stop. Uh, The, uh, the application, this was on your application, I think you had uh, moved this, no? The application was by the, the application. Hmm? Oh, yeah, we had it. Uh, Mr. Harish Sa H Mr. Okay. Harish and Salve, Leonard Senior Council, states that uh, there is no reservation on the part of SBI in disclosing all details which are in its possession and custody. Full stop. In order to fully effectuate the order and to obviate any controversy in the future, we direct that the chairman and managing director of SBI shall file uh, an affidavit uh, on or before 5 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, date Daldo. Could we have one more day, one Thursday? Stating, yes, that's certainly. Uh, 5 p.m. on Thursday, uh, indicating that SBI has disclosed all details of the electoral bonds which were in its possession and custody, and that no detail uh, have been withheld. Uh, from disclosure. Full stop. In, in, to the election commission or in terms of the directions contained in paragraph 221. Your Lordship may indicate the date when it will be uploaded by the election, election commission. commission. Uh, election, the election commission shall upload the details forthwith on the communication by SBI. 